Welcome to Children's Liturgy on the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And today, in today's Gospel, we are going to talk about a king who invites a lot of people to a party, but we'll hear more about this later. So first of all, we're going to begin by lighting our candles. You can see our altars all lovely there with big gigantic rosary beads. So if I take the lighter and we will light the candle, and girls and boys, can you remember why we light the candle? That's right, because Jesus, he is the light of the world and he takes away any darkness. Oh, this wee one doesn't want to light. He can edit that out. Now we have our candles lit. Let's say our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of mercy, you invite us to follow in your ways and enter into your kingdom. May we accept your invitation and love you always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One day Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like this. A king planned a great party for his son's wedding. When everything was ready, he sent his servants to tell the guests who had been invited to come and join the celebrations but each of them had an excuse for not coming. The king was furious and said to his servants, these people do not deserve to share in my party, so go out and invite everyone you meet. They can come to the wedding instead. Soon the hall was all filled with people, good and bad alike. The king noticed one man who had not bothered to dress for the occasion so he sent for his servants and the man was thrown out into the dark. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, this week we heard about how the king was organising this massive party. Now the first thing I want you to do is think about a time where you've been invited to a party. What did you do? Yeah, that's right. What you did, you began to prepare for going to the party. So maybe you got the person a present for inviting you along. But would you have just turned up in your jeans and t-shirt? No, you'd have got stuff ready, wouldn't you? You'd have dressed appropriately to go to the party, to show that you were there for a celebration. So in the story, we also hear about how the king had sent out invitations to all the people he wanted to invite, but none of them turned up. So then what he did was he sent it out to everybody around in the local area. So he then sent his servants out to go and get anybody that they met and bring them to the party. Now, what is this story actually trying to tell us? Let's have a think. When do we have a celebration? Now you might have a celebration at a birthday, at Christmas, Easter, lots of different things, lots of different reasons on why we'll have a celebration. So we all have been to a celebration before, be it a party for a birthday, be it a wedding, or even at Christmas, New Year, Easter, we celebrate different things in our lives that are important to us. Now, one thing that's important to all of us as Catholics is the Church and the Eucharist and Jesus. So what celebration then would be very important to us to celebrate, if not daily, on a weekly basis? That's right, it's the celebration of Mass. Now, God invites us to the celebration of Mass whenever we can attend. And normally, we should be able to attend every single week. Now, we have an obligation as Catholics to go to Mass every single week. 
But in the story, we also hear about how people made excuses. Think about how many times have you made an excuse for not going to Mass? Do you think that's a nice thing to do? No. But we then have to think about how do we redeem ourselves? How do we then say, God, I'm sorry for that? Yeah, that's right, we go to a thing called confession. And the sacrament of reconciliation is where we go and say sorry for the things we have done that are wrong or we know we shouldn't have done. And you get that wee gut feeling inside of you that you know you've done something wrong. So to make sure we are ready for Mass, we go to confession and make sure that we are ready to receive Jesus and the Holy Eucharist. And that's what the story is trying to tell us about today. How can you be prepared to go to a celebration with Jesus at the Holy Eucharist and Mass? So in the story you heard about how the king had sent out invites and people initially made up excuses. He then sent the invite to everybody. Now how do we send the invite out to everyone? Yeah that's right, so at the end of each mass we hear the priest says go forth, the mass is ended, thanks be to God. And what he's doing, he's telling us to go out and share everything that we have learned. And that's how we can act as the servants, is to go out and spread the word of God to everyone around us. That way we're inviting them into our church and inviting them to share the good news of Jesus. Elaine, you're absolutely correct. We should be saying yes to God's invitation to us. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, strengthen us and help us keep our promise to you by accepting your invitation to grow closer and closer to you and your word. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless children, and I hope you have a lovely week off school. Bye.